Connecticut and New York for the first time this season. Jaquel Jones wins the tip. And Jasmine Thomas brings it up for the Sun. Dewana Bonner feeds in. Jaquel going to work, banks it in. Undefeated at home. Thomas has been one of the bright spots in the backcourt after missing a few games due to COVID protocols. Off the screen, it's Breon January pulling up, and Connecticut leads by four. One of the keys to the game coming in to it was just to dictate the tempo, and those two first offensive possessions for the Sun that is exactly what they wanted, patience and a great shot. January's three off the mark. Brianna Jones saves it. Thomas corrals. No reset on the shot clock. Bonner steps into a three. Swish. And able to capitalize with a three from the veteran. Nice to see the ball go in for Bonner. Just three for her last 14 from three coming in. Laney the other way. Slices. Kicks it. Three in the air. Onion Way Day knocks it down. And New York has the lead. Miller talked about how his team needs to get back in that transition defense. On the pick and roll. Brianna Jones. A clear lane to the hoop. Well, we've harped on it early. Great attack to the basket. The reverse goes in for Onion Wayday, the former UCLA star. This team leads the WNBA in three-point makes per game. New York at 11.5, number one in percentage at 41. This team last year shot 27% for three, which was in the basement of the league. And that's some great defensive possessions by the Sun there. They're doing, they're doing a really good job of trying to slow them down. January, standout at Indiana, her second year with Connecticut, first season playing in front of the home fans. Off the catch, Whitcomb remains red hot from three, her second triple. Because of that, your defense is constantly shifting, so you have to be ready for those rotations. Off the one-handed pass, an answer from Jasmine Thomas. So well-spoken, 13 years spending time as a college coach. Graduated in 2009 from Arizona State. Laney knocks down a long two. Saying that New York is recognizing what they're doing by pounding the ball in the paint, but that they need to continue to create inside to handle the double teams and to focus on good power moves. So Up to seven points to lead the Liberty. Onion Way they averages 12 a game this season. Has started all eight games in her rookie campaign. Dewana Bonner. Well, Dewana told us earlier this week to have an off day, had a chance to do some cooking in the kitchen, just did her hair, and she's feeling it after a little bit of rest. Bonner now has seven. I like to get my hair done, do your nails, and, and they finally got to do something like that. She said that's how she decompresses. Nice leaner by Jasmine Jones. Don't anticipate her playing too many minutes. I think she's still under a little bit of a restriction, but definitely was a spark for them last game. Heidemann knifes through traffic and lays it in. Someone who has been in this league as long as she has continues to get better in different areas and has a desire to get better. Ginescu picks it up, got a shot off, and that's her first basket of the night. Just a minute plus gone by. Heidemann squares her shoulders, decides to attack, slings it. Carrington, three, got it. Sun win it. Up by six into Jockwell Jones. Great up and under move to figure out how the pieces work on both ends and then of course implementing a bench He'll take seven and two. There's no doubt Hanging in traffic Jones Nicely done Not right to shoot basketball on that side of four. She's the reason they got that offensive board Now Laney is doubled similar treatment to Jonquil Jones great extra pass Allen wide open three 41 in the white jersey shot clock to seven for Jones January fights around the screen on the switch. It's Laney, spins in the paint, off the window and in. Got caught up in the screen that was happening. One foul from the penalty. Allen with the push. Whitcomb steps back for three. Glad you brought that up because it was definitely hammered home this week. They call her Breezy. So Breezy is the staple of both our offense and our defense. Jasmine Thomas. Great dump by Bree Jones into Jaquel Jones. Bonner leads the team with nine points. Did most of her work in the first quarter. Had seven of those nine in the first frame. Shot clock to ten. Breon January the Hezzy. Rattles in and out. 
Jockwell Jones cleans it up. You get multiple extra possessions already just for fighting for those boards, and now you get some extra points. Now JJ's heating up with eight. Laney answers, touches almost every part of the rim. Numbers for Connecticut. Bonner to Breon January, bounces in Bonner, quickly fires. Off the back heel, cleaned up once again by guess who, JJ. Well, here's how you know that Connecticut's really established the paint. Shook is one of the forwards. Shook can't hit from three. Also, notice John Quell has not taken many threes tonight. It's all inside. Dewana Bonner orchestrates the offense. Breezy sets the screen. Shot clock to five. Jasmine Thomas swirls it in. Jonquil Jones and Jasmine Thomas, three for two for three tonight. Jonquil establishes once more. Still a 9-0 Connecticut run. New York has not scored in this second half. Ionescu puts that run to bed. She got that foul going in and trying to give the post. Now Brianna Jones wants a turn. Pounding it in the paint. Got clock to seven. Ionescu going one-on-one -on -one with Thomas. Bounces into Shook. Great straight up D by Brianna Jones. That's a tough take and Shook gets it to go. Really taking pride on that defensive end, which of course has been their emphasis all season long. They've had a couple of struggling offensive possessions and then they follow it up with a great defensive stop. Lead back up to 14. Benaja Laney drives. Open shooter. That one's good. Her back into the game more and more and, and the good thing about her, Brendan, is she's such a motivator when she's not on the court as well. She stays very locked into games. You can see her up and moving on the bench. Heidemann off the catch. Jockwell Jones has only taken two threes tonight. Drains her first of the evening. Another 20-point game for Jockwell Jones. That's five straight with 20. Stokes comes right back. Emphasis, com emphasis coming into this game, and they have completely stuck to that game plan. When I check the column, just to be sure, it's 10 <laughs> 3 Connecticut. You. But yes, it's been very evident despite the stat sheet. There's another one. Season high is 13 rebounds. One off with 12 in this one, 24 points. Brianna Jones right off the catch. 20 point lead. Allen off the catch. Yes. Wide open. A Bonner, Brian January, standing, applauding the hustle, even though it did not convert, and you won't see it on the score sheet. Odom knocks down a three. 15-point deficit. Onion Wade, pass knocked away. Corralled by Heideman. Drives in, bounces it. Stephanie Jones, patience, and puts it in. Great point. Had nine assists in that game as well. And Walt Hopkins talked about this pregame on his Zoom availability. She's learning on the fly to figure out what the team needs in the moment. She got it. She's going to be happy with herself as she heads on to Eurobasket. 31 for Jockwell Jones. Beatrice Montpremier, Heidemann, Stephanie Jones, and Dijanae Carrington. Allen, another three. Heidemann's led the bench with five points. Carrington dumps in on the head fake. Another fake, blocked by Allen. Second effort goes. Stephanie Jones, another bucket. It's great to watch the bench get involved in this game, Brendan, because as the season goes on, those minutes are gonna start to wear on some of the players. And if the bench can come in and be successful, put themselves, for their starters, to put themselves in a position like this to be able to get their bench in and get these minutes. Heidemann just bolts to the basket. The Connecticut Sun picks up a WNBA best eighth win. Eight and two on the season. Five and zero oh at home. Four and zero oh in Commissioner Cup games, handing the Liberty a 21-point loss.